The glory of these forty days we celebrate with songs of praise for Christ by whom all things were made himself has fasted and has prayed. Alone and fasting Moses saw the loving God who gave the law, and to Elisha fasting came the steeds and chariots of flame. So Daniel trained his mystic sight, delivered from the lion's might, and John the bridegroom's friend became the herald of Messiah's name. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. My brothers and my sisters, as we gather together today to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that schooled through Lenten observance and nourished by your word, through holy restraint, we may be devoted to you with all our heart and be ever united in prayer. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses spoke to the people and said, Now Israel, hear the statutes and decrees which I am teaching you to observe, that you may live and enter in and take possession of the land which the Lord, the God of your fathers, is giving you. Therefore, I teach you the statutes and decrees as the Lord my God has commanded me that you may observe them in the land you are entering to occupy. Observe them carefully, for thus, will give, for thus you will give evidence of your wisdom and intelligence to the nations who will hear of all these statues and say, this great nation is truly a wise and intelligent people. For what great nation is there that has God so close to it as the Lord our God is to us whenever we call upon him. Or what great nation has statutes and decrees that are as just as this whole law which I am setting before you today. However, take care and be earnestly on your guard, not, forget, not to forget the things which your own eyes have seen nor let them slip from your memory as long as you live, but teach them to your children and to your children's children. The word of the Lord. Amen. 
Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Glorify the Lord, O Jerusalem. Praise your God, O Zion. For he has strengthened the bars of your gates. He has blessed your children within you. Praise the Lord, he sends forth his command to the earth. Swiftly runs this his word. He spreads snow like wind. Frost he shrews like ashes. He has proclaimed his word to Jacob, his statutes and his ordinances to Israel. He has not done thus for any other nation. His ordinance he has not made known to them. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. You have the words of everlasting life. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not think that I have come to abolish the law or the prophets. I have come not to abolish, but to fulfill. Amen, I say to you, until heaven and earth pass away, not the smallest letter of the smallest part of the letter will pass from the law until all things have taken place. Therefore, whoever breaks one of the least of these commandments and teaches others to do so, will be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever obeys and teaches these commandments will be called greatest in the kingdom of heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. When we think of the law, a lot of the laws stem from our Jewish traditions in the Torah, which were these first five books in this, in this, uh, this uh, the Bible, basically. Um, it's nothing less than the very revelation of God. Um, and it revealed his ultimate you know, thoughts about himself and a sacred way of life that he offered to his people. Um, in the centuries past, uh, a lot of people ask the question, what is God doing in heaven? Um, and the rabbis routinely answered, he's reading the Torah. So he's reading the, these thoughts that, that uh, he's given to his people. And Jesus himself, we know that he read the, the Torah, the words of scripture on a daily basis. So he was immersed in this word of his heavenly father. And he told, his, he told his followers that he was sent by his father to fulfill the law, to bring it to fruition. That's why he focuses so much on the heart or the inner intention behind the, these commandments. For example, Jesus explained it's not enough to avoid doing physical harm to one's neighbor. We're to love them from our heart. We have to learn to live in peace with our neighbor. Again, it's not enough to avoid stealing and committing adultery. We need to do away with any sort of desire that, that we think that we have some possession over someone else or something. Even as Jesus raised the bar, he raised the requirements for the commandments. Jesus didn't always paint a picture of this stern judge that God, that sometimes we think God is. God loves us. We, we know this from the bottom of our hearts. And he invites us to embrace this love. He wants to change us by the power of the Spirit so that we can love what he loves and to 
find peace where he finds peace. God's love is a consuming fire. It burns away anything in us that, that, uh, that can separate us from him. St. Augustine said, we fulfill the commandments out of love. Could anyone refuse to love our God so abounding in mercy, so just in all his ways? Could anyone deny love to him who first loved us, despite all our injustice, all our pride? Sort of like a father, you know, a physical father or a mother to their child. They see a lot of of things that happen wrong, uh, the growing pains in one's child, it, it is difficult at times, just like my parents raising me. I know there were times when my parents wanted me to do something that they know is right, but I continue to do the wrong thing. Um, but yet they still loved me and all that. How could I deny love to my own parents who loved me despite all of my shortcomings? despite all of my misgivings. That's just the same as our relationship to God. We know we've sinned against him. We know we've done wrong. But yet God still loves us. This Lent, let us ask the Holy Spirit to purify us, our thoughts, our hearts, and to fill it with this consuming fire of God. And may we always begin to desire what God truly wants of us. That will make Lent the most beautiful Lent ever. As we continue our journey in this Lenten season, we ask the Lord to give us inspiration and help as we, as we continue to fulfill our Lenten obligations. We pray that the church in our world, in our country, may continue to draw many people to Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord we pray for peace in our world, in our country, that all people may, may follow God's law of love. We pray to the Lord. The Lord, hear our prayer. We pray that, we pray for all of those who are experiencing any sort of difficulty, any of those uh, having any sort of disease or illness. We pray that they may be healed and may be helped. We pray to the Lord. The Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for everyone in our parish who has a desire to follow Christ, all of those who want to know him better but do not, um, we pray that they, may, they, that they may turn to the Lord and that they, during this Lenten season, may come to find him dwelling in their lives. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray that many people may respond to God's invitation. We pray to the Lord. We pray uh, for all of those who have died that they may rejoice in the company of the saints in heaven. We pray to the Lord. To the Lord, hear our Heavenly Father, you are always with us and you give us your law of love. Help us today to spread this law throughout the whole world. Grant our prayers today through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit to the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the prayers of your people, along with these sacrificial offerings, and defend those who celebrate your mysteries from every kind of danger through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you will that our self-denial should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you and your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels, as with one voice of praise we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which shall be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Michael, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but in the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Body of Christ. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Let us pray. May the heavenly banquet at which we have been fed sanctify us, O Lord, and cleanse us of all errors and make us worthy of your promise from on high. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. 
Then grant that we, like them, be true, consumed in fast and prayer to you, our spirit strengthen with your grace, and give us joy to see your face. O Father, Son, and Spirit blessed, to you be every prayer addressed, who are in threefold name adored, from age to age the only Lord.